Welcome to our RSA interview series. These interviews are sponsored by Circadence. If you're looking for a gamified cybersecurity training platform, Circadence offers Project Ares, which is an absolutely mind-blowing cybersecurity training platform. And if you were looking for more information, please check out the link in the description below. Hey everyone, this is Zach here at RSA, and I'm here with Wendy, who is a UX designer in cybersecurity, and she's gonna share some stories on you know, exactly what she does, and also give some advice to you guys if you are looking to get into cybersecurity, and more specifically, UX design. So welcome to uh, IT Career Questions, and thank you for being here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm really excited to be here talking with you today because UX design is a really exciting field and I don't think a lot of people who get into cybersecurity realize the opportunities that they have uh, to do design or people who might be a little more intimidated about coding and some of the more really heavy sciences. This is a really creative field uh, with a lot of job opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. What do you enjoy most about working uh, in your specific role? Oh, my, my, my work is very creative. It gives me a chance to learn, a chance to build, and a chance to also teach people. Uh, I work with great colleagues. They're super smart and excited about what they do. And I'm constantly learning every day on the job. And that's something I talk about, uh, I think, a lot on my channel is constantly learning. Like that's, yeah. uh, you're always evolving in IT because you're always trying to stay up to date. Um, is that something that, the always interests you, the fact that you're always learning? Because I, I, I love that aspect. Yeah. I love that I am always staying, you know, on top of the new technology. And yeah. it always, it, it's like an exciting part of the field. How do you feel about that? Yeah, um, I get really bored if I'm not <laughs> constantly learning. And I tend to gravitate towards companies and projects that are um, very technically uh, heavy. Uh, enterprise applications a lot, um, and though there is definitely an increase in mobile at, with the cybersecurity too. So here's one for you, because I know people are, are going to get intimidated by the fact that you're, you say, oh, I always have to learn something. Well, that sounds uh -huh. terrible. How hard do you think it is to continuously learn now that you've been in the field for a while? Do you think it's difficult to stay on top of things? Or do you think as you've you know kind of evolved through the different technologies, it's maybe a little bit easier to pick up on new technologies as you're going forward. So things that I have learned in previous jobs have helped. Uh, a number of years ago, I worked on home networking at Intel. So that certainly gave me a fair amount of background. But cybersecurity is kind of its own beast. And um, I build time into my schedule at work to learn. I take a certain portion of time, and I do learn on my own. But it is part of my job, as I'm reading white papers and PowerPoint presentations, and I'm seeing terms that aren't really well defined, you just go to the internet and search, and then you read, and you learn it. And because you're learning small bits in context, it's not suddenly this huge textbook you've got to read and have a test on next week. Right, yeah. So it's, it's not as overwhelming as it sounds. And I, I don't want people to get the wrong impression. You know, I think sometimes they think like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm always going to be stuck in a textbook that's, you know, 10 inches thick and staying up to date. But it's not, it's not always like that. You can get things in bits and pieces and keep yourself up to date and be relevant as you go forward through this field. So it's, it's not that difficult. Yeah. So uh, what's, your, what's your experience in, in IT? How'd you, how'd you first get involved in IT? Okay. What, what's that story? Well, I want to hear that. <laughs> so, um, so, Getting into the field, you know, people have taken many routes, and I've, I've been in this field for quite some time. I actually started out as an English major, and I got a concentration in technical writing. So I got into the field in the 90s in technical writing, and then I got introduced to UI design and usability, so I went to graduate school to study that and got out. And that's when I went to Intel, and I was there for a few years and really learning a lot about that. Um, I had a little bit of time at Bell Labs as an internship, learning about CDMA technology. I mean, this is old stuff. Um, so I've just kept up with it over the years, doing the design. And the kinds of skills that I learn in design work across all, all fields. So for instance, when you go into cybersecurity, along with having design skills, you then pick up the content, uh, the domain content material about cybersecurity. So, and when I started on cybersecurity, I've been in it for about a year and a half now, I knew very little about it. Um, and 
because this is a pretty new field for UI designers to come into the cybersecurity world, uh, the barrier for entry is, I think, lower. They're, they're looking for people who know how to design and you'll pick up the skills along the way. But I do actually think that may change over the years because when I got into UI design and user experience, they were looking for people with relevant experience and nowadays you really need to have a degree in it and then understanding of a, of a particular field. One of the things that really inspired me to advocate for design and also getting into these kinds of fields, I was actually hiking in Joshua Tree. And I got to the top and I met this group of high school students. And a young woman asked me what I did and I told her, you know, I do I usually just say software design. And she's like, oh, I can't do that. That's, that's too complicated. And there are so many aspects to design that people don't know about. It's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of you know, drawing and, 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 and project management and really being creative and thinking about how, how to solve problems and visual design and a lot of fun things. And you, know, you can go to, whether you're going into college or just going into the field, there's a lot of great meetup groups yep. that will teach you about design, they'll teach totally. you about cybersecurity, about IT, and you can learn from that and then just take it a step at a time. It's not like if you don't know calculus and statistics and, and how to code in five languages, you're gonna fail. You just take it bit by bit. Yeah, absolutely, that's great advice. Oh, absolutely, thank you. Yeah. Um, oh, do you have any advice for people who are, you know, maybe looking to get an IT or UX design in general or cybersecurity? You know, what type of advice would you have for my viewers if they're looking to get into the field? Okay. Uh, is there any, you know, challenges that you've run across that, you know, you could uh, help them? Sure, sure. So, more and more, you actually do need a piece of paper behind what you're doing. Uh, whether it's a certification or a degree, two-year, four-year, graduate degree, it, it just really depends. Um, probably the best thing that you can do, go online to job boards, look at job roles, and see what they're looking for in terms of education, of experience, of skill sets. Um, start having informational interviews with the people who do your job, your dream job, or the people who hire for it, and ask them what they're looking for, and start to build that up in whatever way that means. Also, it's crucially important to have a portfolio. And even if you haven't done a lot, if you just have a couple of small projects, maybe they were just school projects, put together something online, talk about your process, we honestly don't care what your end uh, design looks like. I mean, okay, that looks nice, but can you reproduce it? So can you talk to us about your process, what you've done, what you've thought about, because we want to know you can do it again. And that kind of advice is going to apply to whether you're doing design, IT, uh, cybersecurity, uh, that kind of thing. And also don't be too hung up on the title because so many, so many titles, they have a lot of the same skills, so you just want to go after the kinds of things that you want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Titles are so skewed in IT. I mean, yeah. if you take like a help desk role, for instance, yeah. there's seven different titles that do exactly yeah. the same thing, you know? Yeah. I feel like the titles are a joke, yeah. you know, yeah. sometimes. So yeah, definitely agree. And um, articulating, you know, your thought process on how you do things, I think, yeah. I feel like that's a huge, um, value uh, that, that companies are looking for. Exactly. If you can, you know, explain your thought process, especially during the interview and how you do things, that's what companies really love to see. You know, especially that you can repeat what you're doing and how you did things, and right. that's a, a great value to people. Communication is, exactly. is a great, yeah. great piece. That's that. another point, soft skills. Yeah. One thing they do not teach in college or school or wherever, they don't teach all the skills of learning to listen and communicate and know who you talk to. The way I talk to executives versus the way I talk with uh, individual contributors, you know, it's never like you're talking down, it's just that they want to hear different things. So it's super important to understand what's going to capture their intention. Yeah. Uh, and I actually took sales training to learn a lot of this stuff. Really? Yeah. Um, and that was, oh my God, that was so important. Even though I don't officially go out and do sales, I am selling my stuff, uh, myself. Um, I am selling my ideas in, um, within an organization. So those skills do transfer. 
Yeah, absolutely. And uh, a lot of my viewers always ask me, how do I get soft skills? You know, because they, they might be starting out, um, you know, from high school, from college, and all they've done is school. And they might not have very many soft skills. They might be very introvert, you know, of course. And I always tell them, just find any customer service facing job that you can. Go work at McDonald's, at Target, Walmart, where you're put in front of a customer and you yeah. have to talk to them. Right. It's going to put you outside of your comfort zone, but it's also going to force you to talk to people. And it's going to greatly help as you're going through your career, just knowing that you uh, are capable of communicating with people outside of that comfort zone. Exactly. I think that's a, just a huge value to have. I know sometimes you know mm -hmm. people don't want to go work at McDonald's or Walmart sometimes, but summer job, go do it, pick up some of those soft skills, and it's just an added value to your skill set. And the, the adage yeah, that, that you hear over and over is don't be interesting, be interested. That's, that's what people, right. that's what gets them to open up and, and, and talk to you. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Awesome. Uh, is there anything else that you want to add, throw in there? You know, something that I've learned recently about when you're talking about uh, like cybersecurity versus you know, IT stuff, there is so much overlap. And what I, what I have seen in, in really broad bucket industry trends is that um, within a cyber organization, you're going to have people who focus on network and system health, and you're going to have people who focus on the malicious and the uh, behavior, sort of the behavioral aspects. And so the behavioral side would be the analysts and the uh, system health side, so building, and, and maintaining, those would be the admins. And so that the skills that you have, being an admin, can apply in both of the areas, or the, or the threat detection, or the hunting that you do as an analyst will also work when you're hunting as an admin. So I think the skills work both ways, it's just really the focus of, of your tasks. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to learn more about UX design, uh, Cal State University Fullerton has a UX certificate program. Um, I teach there one of the classes. It's a, it's a reasonably short online program. But there are also a number of other really great programs. So you don't have to go back to school for two years or four years to get a degree. You have an opportunity to learn from experts, the people that we hire are all out in the field too, teach on it. We're, we're, this is what, just what we do part time. So you can get, uh, and you don't have to do everything. You can just pick and choose the courses. There's also an awful lot of online free courses that you can just take here or there to learn your skills, whether it's in design or cyber, uh, to, to build your skills. Awesome. All right. Great, thank you. I'll That's put uh, links to the in the description oh, uh, so you. people can view all that. So. Okay, I awesome. appreciate that. Great. Yeah, thank you very much for all being right. on. I really appreciate all it. All right, thank you. Awesome.